Okay, level A, level B, level C, etc. With the level A device, a level A software, if the software will fail, will cause a catastrophic accident to your brain. Everybody will die. Okay? Level B, it's hazardous or severe level. Okay? There will be someone that could die, but not the pilot. Okay? This is a this is very important distinction. Because uh, it's not uh, because uh, the pilot is uh, important, etc. Because the pilot uh, will land. This is the, the most important part of the, of the flight, when you are flying. The, the, pilot is, they are all, the two pilots, and this is why they, they have two pilots, is that they are the ones that are able to land. So at the level uh, uh, A, the pilot uh, will die too, and the, the plane will not be able to land. At the level B, will be able to land with some problem. Okay? Maybe someone will be uh, hurt or uh, even die, but not the pilot. At le level C, you will have uh, some people uh, with uh, minor problems, okay, but uh, the, the, the plane will be able to land. At level D, you have uh, annoying problems like air conditioning, etc. At level E, not effect. And this is the probability. At the level A, so level where there is a catastrophic error and everybody in the plane will die, you should have a probability of 10 to the minus 9. So one problem, okay, every billion of uh, hours, flight hours, okay? It's something like uh, 100,000 years. So it's quite good, okay? Because in that case, uh, the, 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 the plane will not be able to land, uh, so all the people will die, probably, okay? So the probability of a software error in a level A software, okay, it's uh, this one, 10 to the minus 9. For a level B, it's 10 to the minus 7. For a level C, it's 10 to the minus 5. And for level D, is uh, uh, from uh, this uh, 10 to the minus 5 to 10 to the minus 3. <coughs> but uh, what is uh, the real motivation of uh, criticality level? If uh, I was uh, the, the, the authority, I could say everything should be level A. But this is against uh, the three main objectives of, of a company. Do you know what are the three main objectives uh, of a company? The three main concerns of a company, of every company in the world. It's easy. Money, money, and money. No safety. Safety is uh, at the fourth or fifth place. Okay. So for the for the authority, the the problem of the safety is the first one. Okay. For a company is uh, maybe the fourth or the fifth. Okay. So the contribu the contributors of the O178 were company and industry. Sorry, uh, authority and industry. So. The, the compromise was to have a criticality level. Okay? okay, this function is very important for the plane because if it's not working, uh, all the people will die. Okay, this is level A. This function is uh, not important because if it's not working, if the entertainment system is not working, the people are bored because they could not play with the, with the video games, but nobody uh, is hurt. Okay? So, the, uh, for example, the entertainment system will be level D. At level A, you will have the engine, you will have uh, uh, the, the main uh, electronic, etc., for the fly-by-wire, and, and so on. So, for each level, you have uh, the different uh, result, a catastrophic failure, uh, hazardous severe condition, etc. Major fatalities at level A, <coughs> including flight crew, Level B, potential fatal injuries, but not to fly crew. Here you have a serious situation. There are the, the pilots uh, that are in, a, in a real distress. They have uh, a real problem to keep the, the, the plane uh, flying or landing. But uh, they are able to land, maybe with some serious problem. In this case, uh, it will create uh, some uh, distress, some problem to the pilot, but not uh, big problem to the people. This is only discomfort to passenger and crew. 
the can level I, B. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Yes. So, how? What is level B? How do you sort of make sure, like? Just the crew are not affected by that. Uh, it's mean, uh, the most important activity is a safety assessment. Okay. The safety assessment will uh, give you the level. Okay. Will give you this uh, device, uh, this uh, system, this software, uh, this other is level B. It's level C. It's level D. Because uh, due to our uh, experience, test, uh, simulation, blah blah blah. They say if the system will fail, will create a problem of level B, level C, level A, etc. Then the consequences in the, your software development <coughs> activity are the number of objectives. So if you go back here, you see here the difference between the levels. At level A, you should comply with all the 71 objectives and 30 with independence. Independence of uh, the doer and the reviewer. So you write the code, I review the code. You write the test, I review the test. Independence, okay? Level B, only two objective difference, but uh, much less independence. At level C, 62 objective and less independence. So for example, talking about coverage, code coverage, okay, you have to cover the line of code. This is for level C. No code covers uh, level D. With uh, level B, I can write you. Uh, the pen. At level uh, level C. At level C, you have statement coverage. So, for example, you, you should uh, cover all the statement like this one, or uh, a call of a function, etc. These are all statements. This is for level C. Okay? After level B, you have also the branch coverage. Okay, so you should uh, follow not only the true statement, but also the hidden else that in this case is not, is not implemented, but uh, there is a consequence because uh, if uh, A is zero or less than zero, then you will never reach uh, this. Uh, but you will never test what happened in this situation. Okay. okay, it's not enough to cover B equals zero in this case. Okay, you should cover also the the, um, the other uh, branch, the other side of the branch. With level A, the situation is much more complicated. Okay, uh, this is called MCDC, modified <coughs> condition decision coverage okay in this case for example uh, you have uh, only one test case in this case uh, you have two okay suppose uh, that uh, you want to do a full test okay a full test of this if a or B and C, blah, 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 uh, for eight uh, different uh, variables. What is the number of test cases we have to write? 256 to, uh, to, to eight, okay? Okay, this kind of testing is, of, of course, not acceptable by the industry, because the industry uh, have three objectives, money, money, and money. So they want, don't want to spend uh, the time to do 256 uh, test cases, okay? What is MCDC? MCDC is something like this. You have a box with uh, your logic, and uh, you have uh, eight uh, different uh, variables, okay? Uh, Boolean variables that we can represent uh, with uh, eight uh, different switches, okay? That could be on or off. Okay, so, and here you have a lamp 
that could be on or off. Okay? So, in the first uh, statement branch, uh, statement coverage, you simply test one test case uh, with uh, the lamp on. In the branch coverage, uh, you test uh, two test cases, one with the lamp on and one with the lamp off. Just two. With the utopic testing, you do 256. So, what is MCDC? <coughs> it's simply this concept. You keep seven switches, seven variables fixed, you move one, and you want to see that the light go on and off. Why you want to do this? Because what are the typical problems in a plane? Okay? These are wires, these are sensors, maybe. Okay? This wire could be broken, okay? Or this wire could uh, be connected uh, to uh, the high voltage. This uh, wire could be connected to the ground. These wires could be merged together, okay? So you want to detect with testing this kind of problem. This is a physical example. The same to your code. A and B are completely independent, or there are some situation in the past into your code uh, where they are dependent, and so you could not test anymore, uh, they are completely separated. So you do uh, 16 test cases, uh, two for each variable, with on and off. In this case, you cover not all the possible problem, it's not the best standard, as we said, but you can cover most of the typical situation that, that you can have in your software and uh, into your app. Uh, okay, I think maybe we can uh, we can stop here. I have a slide for three days, so <laughs> we come back next week. Okay, <laughs> but uh, if you have uh, you <laughs> if you have any questions, <coughs> of course. Uh, by the way, our company is uh, located in London, so we are open uh, to collaboration, uh, internship, uh, also uh, the final uh, year uh, <coughs> exam, uh, etc. So uh, here there are some business cards, if you want to take one, feel free. I have a question. So you mentioned that these guidelines are relatively uh, um, open. They are not very, very strict. Wait, wait a second, yes. there's a question. <laughs> just, just one second. So my question is, uh, how do compare the different, uh, how do the different companies uh, compare with respect to how they comply to this? Uh, do, do, is the standard relatively the same between different companies? Uh, the standard is, is the same, uh, and uh, the, it's the certification authority, fun, uh, fundamentally. Like, it's uh, like uh, the laws for uh, circulating on the road, uh, and uh, the authority that wrote uh, them, and uh, the policeman uh, that uh, will, uh, will catch you, or uh, will... Uh, yeah, but right, so... Consider this example, if I catch a, a, a nice guy, right, I might go away with, with something less than... Uh, okay, uh, there is a... Uh, there so my question is whether, is whether there yes, are different ways of assessing... There is a very, very precise consequence. If uh, the nice policeman uh, will write uh, that uh, your system, your software is okay and is not, uh, will go to jail. But they have to catch him, right? Uh, they, the, the people from the Concord crash uh, are all in jail. Because they, they faked the, the, the test, they used the uh, wrong spare part, cheap uh, spare parts, and this spare part was lost by the previous flight, and the Concorde hit during the takeoff, the take uh, this uh, piece of uh, metal. This uh, crashed the, 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 the tires, piece of the tire broken the, 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 the fuel tank, and this led to the explosion. All the people that mounted this uh, wrong uh, spare part, that allowed to do this, etc., are all in jail. Okay. So the consequence is uh, you, go, you go in jail, even if you are the policeman. <laughs> okay. Thanks again.